Guys, and welcome to another episode of Little Black Book. I got another story time for you guys. Look, I'm just, I just gotta break them all down, you get me? Because sometimes when I do it, I gotta do it all in one go because then I remind it, it reminds me, and it comes to my brain all at once. And then I'm like, yo, I need to tell the story. And then the stories come out, stories and more stories come out. And then I'm like, whoa, where am I? I need to tell this story because that story was important. I am chatting Dudu and Breeze right now. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let me get into the story time, listen, so... <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you, I'm talk to you about story time. And listen, so when I was younger, oh, you know, I was a big kid. Yeah, I may have had bigger breasts than some of the girls. Um, you know, yeah, I may have had more back-offs than some of the girls as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I just would have been a bigger kid than a lot of these girls. Like, um, I probably wasn't as handsome, you know, as I am right now. Like, I mean, I mean, do I look like a 2 out of 10? I mean, don't ask that question. Don't ask that question. Two twos, yeah. Um, there was a girl, you know, um, I don't want to bait names, okay, that I really, really liked in school. Like, because she just kept, I just, I liked her style. Let's be honest. No, no, she was good looking. Let's just be honest. She was fit, okay. She was aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So, obviously now. Me and her used to just talk like as friends. Obviously, I I felt I really wanted her, but you know, our man was too shy. You know, I started looking at myself. I said, I don't think this is ever gonna this is ever gonna match with her. You know, what I'm saying it'd be embarrassing if I get rejected. I'm thinking to myself, my heart can't take rejection. Rude boy, like I'd rather just say face, just be a friend. Maybe one day the door will open. If it doesn't, fantastic. I'm gonna be a great friend. Anyway, so friend zone was hard hitting, fam. Yeah, I was in a friend zone deep cuts. Yeah, me. Like I had a personal year ticket upon year. I renewed every year on my ticket for the friend zone. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I was consistently there. I paid rent, okay? I paid my water bills there, I paid my gas and electrics there. Like I was fully there. There came a time obviously we wasn't wasn't been in class, okay? And um let's call this girl um Simone. Okay, the girl that I liked was called Simone. And there was another girl called let's say Danielle, okay? Remember they're all black here. Okay, I just couldn't think of any more blacker names. Cool. So honestly now, I'm in a class like we're informed. Okay, I, I need to deep it. We're informed. Cool. So it's the last form before we go home. Okay, it's hitting three o'clock. It's looking time like we're gonna we're gonna bless up. We're gonna go home. We're gonna go chill. We're gonna feel nice. It's gonna be wavy. Anyway, so cool. Then. Danielle, okay, out of nowhere, I don't even know how the conversation even started. I don't even know how the conversation even got there. How did my name even enter it? Why are people so rude? Why are black girls so mean sometimes? Like, I just don't understand. But I, I love the black females still, you get me? Can't date any other but black females, you get me? So now, Danielle's talking to Simone, okay, and they're having a conversation. I'm sitting there. Minding my own biz, but I'm kind of eavesdropping on the conversation. Don't get it twisted. I was kind of eavesdropping still. Danielle's talking to Simone about, oh, like, what guys you like in da 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 Now, I'm kind of hoping that my name's going to get thrown in there, but I already know my name's not going to get thrown in there, but you kind of have to hope in it. You get me? It's called faith, cuz. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, cuz. Anyway, so, so, I was like, I was like, proper hoping that my name's going to be in this list, cuz. All right, cool. So, um, she's saying these different boys' names, like, you know, da Damien, um, Tyrone, and, um, Wayne and all these names, you know what I'm saying? All these fine, fine boys who are bad boys, but they're fine boys, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to, look, I can always appreciate a good looking guy. They were good looking guys, that's why they're popular, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? She's mentioned a couple of names that she thinks are kind of good looking. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> um, and then she, Danielle, you know, I don't know if she was feeling off that day. I don't know if the Holy Spirit slapped her and she's feeling some way, I don't know. Um, so Danielle then decides obviously to ask her like, you, I don't know if she spot like I said, I don't know if she spotted me eavesdropping. She goes, oh, so like, what do you think of Kojo? You know, when you're in a black school, there's a lot of pressure. Like, so people be mean unnecessarily because we're in that kind of pressured environment. You get me? She asks her, well, what, do you, what do you think of Kojo? Like, are you thinking that he's a, you know, do you think he's a good looking dude? Da -da 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 -da. And she's like, what, do you, what, would you, what would you rate Kojo out of, like, 10? Run. Like, I beg, like, Simone, please, I beg you, don't shank me, like, like, the whole class is here as well, allow it, man. Then she's like, then she, Danielle mentions another guy's name quickly, who's in the group, who's in the class well. Like, what do you think of this guy? Let's call him Luke. What do you think of Luke? He's black too. What do you think of Luke? Luke, uh, they say, oh, Luke goes, yeah, Luke's alright, he's like a 5 out of 10. Look, I would have taken a 5 out of 10, cuz. 5 out of 10 is cool, cuz. Yeah? It's even more than what I was rating myself. 5 out of 10, if you tell me I'm a 5 out of 10, I was like, I was feeling nice at the time. You get what I'm saying? I wasn't complaining, cuz. 
I was gonna take a five out of ten, you get me? I mean, right now, I'm obviously, you know what I'm saying, like, man's handsome and dark skin and melanin and that, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what would you call out of ten? Like, actually, don't ask that question. Don't ask that question. Jesus is love! Choo choo's, yeah, no. Um, she says, obviously, Luke is five out of ten, says so, so another guy, he's seven out of ten. I was, I was thinking, what? She's giving a couple, couple, she's giving a couple high scores out here. Maybe she's feeling kind of nice. Like, I mean, her approving me would be, whoa, <laughs> it'd just be nice, you know what I'm saying? Cool. <laughs> um, and then, so she just goes, oh. Daniel asked her again, like, what do you think of Kojo? Um, and she's like, oh. I, think, I remember the first comment was, they, spe- they said it in tree, innit? I can understand tree, I just can't speak it. It's like, oh, you can't even speak tree. Jesus is cool. I can't speak tree, innit? Yeah, I can't. Like, I'm, I won't lie to you. What? I'm a fake Ghanaian because I can't speak tree. I mean, I mean, if that's what qualifies you to be a Ghanaian, then cool, innit? Like, man's not Ghanaian. You get what I'm saying? Like, man's British if that's the case. But even British people don't think I'm British. You know what I'm saying? It's, I mean, just nowhere to go. Like, you go to Ghana, they don't like you. You go to Britain, they don't like you. I mean, I'm also just being space. Flip it. Let me go to heaven, cause, cause in heaven at least, then I know that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be like there. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm, cause it's mad. Cause like, obviously, when you're Ghanaian, but because you can't speak tree, they don't think you're Ghanaian. But call it it, call it it, it's call it it, it's blessed. Like, there's no pain here. Like, I don't, I don't even remember that. I'm just telling you the story because I think it's fine, isn't it? It's fine. Yeah. This is what I did the pain, cuz. She was like, oh, would you beat Kojo? And beat, I'm gonna translate, means have sex with Kojo. Um, she was like, what? Ugh, no. Let, I, let me do it again because that wasn't enough venom to make you understand what she said. She's, Daniel said, would you have sex with Kojo? She's like, are, are you mad? No! The whole body recoiled with the answer. Like, the whole body language said no before she said no. Like, the no that she said was even nicer than the body language. <laughs> there is no way in hell that this boy is getting it. Like, hell freezes over and still he's not getting a chance. Pigs can fly, he's still not getting a chance. You understand? The world could end and he's still not getting a chance. That's how she said it, cuz. Yeah? Cuz, like, man can't, okay, I feel you in it, I'm not good looking like other man then, but, but when you're telling me your problems about life and you're telling me about how this man is duking you, this man is duking you, I'm giving you advice, this is how you want to treat me, okay. I'm trying to make, console myself, trying to make myself feel nice because she basically said I'm absolutely ugly and horrifically ugly. And then, then, the, then the real answer comes, she's like, oh, so what would you give me, like a, what would you give me out of 10? She goes, uh, a 2. Now, granted, 2 is better than 1, okay, granted, 1 is better than 0. So I've got two marks there. But already after what she said already, cause I'm ready, my heart, my feelings, my emotions are all hitting, okay? Yeah, like I, I, I want to die right now, okay? That's how I felt, I want to die and the ground should swallow me because she's not just said it amongst just me, her and, Dan- me, her, and Danielle. She said it amongst me, her, Danielle and the rest of form. And you know how black people get, baby? Nobody was living, everyone was laughing, catching jokes. And the worst thing is, because you're also black too, and the pride, didn't it? I didn't even want to walk out the class. I just had to help. I held my head down to the ground. I looked at the table and I said, Lord, make me a house of prayer. Lord, forgive them, for they don't know what they're doing. I will one day be buff. I will one day be handsome. I will one day be of substance. So I was just telling myself that and just trying to make myself feel better in that. So I was kind of saying that to myself and that you get me to make myself feel better in that. You get what I'm saying? I'm repeating myself loads of times because when I really think about it, it's trauma because it's just my trauma. Like my brain is tingling. Like I'm remembering the synapses are just going a bit mad at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Because when they're having to reconnect to remember that memory, it's just, I've tried to push that to the back of my mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm not the only one that's ever gone through that. And I'm probably not the only guy that's ever experienced a girl going mad at them. Do you know what I'm saying? And just saying nonsense. Like, fam, I'm not going to lie to you because when she said what she said, fam, I I was super hurt cuz you know what I'm saying one because we talk we talk like she would tell me all her problems rare 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 but it was not enough to it was not enough for her not to fire me in front of everybody about how she felt you know me and her we used to, we used to, have, we used to have fights though me and her we used to have fights cuz like just like arguments and stuff like I remember one time she put up a chair to fight me cuz to fight me so that's what happened guys okay now I don't think I'm a 2 out of 10 I think I've, I've, I think I've glowed up baby I don't care what you say. My confidence isn't in you. 
I don't care what you say, my confidence is not in you. My confidence is in myself, baby. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, why well, is a handsome dude right now, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it hurt though, cause when she said what she said, I was I was I was I was like this, cause when she said what she said, I was like this, I was like I was feeling emotional and that. And I was feeling a little bit down and that. And for a few years after that, you know, I ain't forgot that. If you like what I'm doing, you like what I'm hearing, you like what you're seeing, do you get what I'm saying? Then you know what to do in it, you gotta press that subscribe button. So I haven't forgot how she said what she said, but you know, you have to forgive and forget like Jesus said, you gotta turn the other cheek and that, you get me? But I wish when I turn the other cheek, yeah, that's a 10 out of 10, yeah, and I turn the other cheek, I'm a 10 out of 10, baby. The confidence is here, baby, because why? Because my confidence is rooted in Christ, baby. It's not in man, it's not on the outer image. <laughs> Woo! That's what I keep telling myself. That's why I went to the gym.